Hey! How are you? You'll recognize this tank from previous videos, we set it for better fry grow out. I'll add a link for the video. However, today we are going to reuse this aquarium as a quarantine tank for new Caradina shrimps coming in next week. Later on, we'll keep it for cross-breeding the Cardinias. Hope you'll like it. We use this tank for tannic testing after we remove the bettas. We put about 2 liters of diluted tannins in total. This is why the water is so dark and there are so many residues. During the process, no fish or shrimp were harmed. We'll try to reuse as much of the stones, gravel, and filter media as feasible. However, before bringing in the shrimps, we'll replace those. Starting by removing the useless filter. This filter literally is expensive and serve only for decoration. For shrimp tanks it is recommended to use a sponge or under gravel filtration. After removing the equipment, we ran the net to clean out the surface from debris and floating plants. We do this to avoid sucking up during siphon, things we might need later. Those are guppy grass. They might serve well in a shrimp tank, both as a shelter and a source of food. Also these plants, use a lot of the nitrate in the tank, so it is a good idea to have them around. Once we have removed and saved the things we need, now we can use a hose or a vacuum cleaner to siphon out the water. Just for your info, we use some filter floss in a net attached to the hose exit. This will allow us to keep some of the water clean. The water will be reused in the first week, to make sure that nitrifying bacteria has something to live on and thrive in the same conditions it used to live in. Emptying only half of the tank, and keeping the remaining half to clean the rocks. In the tank now, we bring in the plants and the rocks that we are repurposing for the new setup. We use a toothbrush to clean off some of the algae buildups and of course unwanted scum. Then, using the net again, remove any leftover debris and use a hose to drain the leftover water. Since some water is left in the tank it will be used to wash the glass, it'll be a good idea to give it a quick scraping and cleaning at this point. Now, that this is done, it's time to start the new setup. We will use our own bacti powder made out of probiotics and nitrifying bacteria. We always add some calcium powder and biofilm powder to help with kickstarting the tank. Check the links in the description if you're interested in those products. Also, on the side, we have washed and prepared some Akadama soil and crushed lava rocks to be used as a substrate. Back to our tank. We add the bacti powder under the gravel, this will generate nitrifying bacteria. As for the multi powder, it will add some calcium to the water that will help the shrimps molt better. Whereas the filby powder, will generate biofilm. We like to keep our substrate and breeding tanks really shallow to avoid contaminants stock up under the substrate. And for this the aquascaping shouldn't be an issue. Just adding a couple of lava rocks and maybe in the future we'll add some wood.
Now that everything is in place, it is time to refill the tank with new water. And of course, part of the water that we saved from earlier. Then we added back the guppy grass, and filtration. We will use this nano filter for the time being. We added some Akadama soil as filter media to lower the pH. To start, in the first week, we are adding a carbon pad as well to help clear up the water faster and clean any contaminants. And on the water inlet, we managed to cut a piece of coarse foam and use it to collect big particles, serve a filter media. This also can be used in shrimp breeding tanks to prevent the shrimplets from being sucked up by the filter. To start the filter, we add some water from the tank before plugging it in the power. We get a problem here, the filter has a tiny crack and is dripping water. So, we changed it to a bottom UGF filter and we'll keep using this one in the future. We added a small circulation pump, will be there for the first week to circulate the debris and help move the water around for filtration. And for the most important part, we add a strong light to boost the biofilm formation before getting shrimps. And that's it, it took an hour or so. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to, like, share, and subscribe. Also let us know in the comments what you think.